There is a new Tower of God M trailer. There have been other trailers, but this is the first one that shows off a lot more detail. I have gone through this a couple of times. We're gonna watch it one more time. Just totally, you know, go through the whole thing, and then we'll break it down. Let's freaking do it. Okay. Let's see what they show off. Again, I have seen it already. It's a lot more gameplay. We get a lot more gameplay in this trailer this time. Still no confirmation on an English release, but it's still fascinating to see. It's fascinating to see this game come together. Hansung's test. And interestingly enough, there's actually, uh, as you'll see here, combat during Hansung's test, which is kind of cool. Because again, you can't really expect there to be like only the battles that are in the series, because otherwise there wouldn't be that many. We see a couple new characters, which I want to talk about here. Just a lot more dialogue. Fighting some robots. We're going to talk about the gameplay here soon. And then a redone scene with Rachel and Bomb, the end of season one, which I think looks really good. I think they did a good job putting this together. I can't tell what that panel is. I think it might be Bomb after he kills the bull, but it doesn't look like him. I don't know. April 20th is the release date. Fascinating stuff. Let's go through it one more time and just talk about the details. Okay, let me move out of the way here. As you can see on the bottom right, we have four main party members. We have Bomb, Hots, Rack, and Coon. And those are the ones that are actually on screen. It might be kind of hard to see because of all the flashes and stuff, but those are the ones that are actually like, you know, participating in the fight. And then the ones on the left here, I think are just like abilities, like little bonuses, because you'll notice right here when Lauro is activated, see his timer starts, Bomb activates this like thing. But then again, this looks like Yuri as well. So I'm not sure. I just feel like maybe they're like little bonuses or, you know, some kind of uh, assistance in that regard. And we also see this new character, but I'll talk about him when he's shown more clearly. Rack, Hots, and Lauro. Boom, right here. Who the frick is this guy? Because we see him later on as well. We see this dude later on in the trailer talking with everybody. So he's not, he's like, he gets pretty far in the test. Is he a new character? Maybe is he supposed to be, like, there's no kind of avatar in this game, right? You're, it's not like you're playing as yourself, right? I don't think so. There's been no insinuation that that's a thing. And then we see Bomb, Kuna, and Rack talking to Han Sung Yu and um, basically getting to participate here. Um, I didn't mention this, but Yuri kind of like lending her power makes more sense because she can't be a playable character during this part of the story unless they change a lot. And also the creatures that are being fought here, I can't remember their name. I'm gonna put it on screen like the Snifflers or something. Uh, I don't know, they, they are the ones from the, the final test on the second floor, right? Who in the world is this dude? All right, obviously in is speaking, but who the frick is this guy? With the four swords, he looks like somebody from season two, actually. Early season two, during a test with like Dan and Ron, Ron just completely obliterates someone who looks like this. And Kuhn fights somebody in episode five who looks like this, but obviously has like the red skin and stuff. So I don't know, I feel like this is maybe a new character or based upon another character. I'm not really sure. And then we see the same guy on the left here. Um, in front of Serena, which is pretty awesome that we get to see uh, Serena. Paracule on the left, and uh, we see Merch here. Freaking Merch, the loser himself. Pretty interesting, you know? And then we get a little bit more combat after this. We get to see Ho as well. Boom, fighting robots! Now, unfortunately, this confirms that Rachel is indeed a playable character. We see her on the bottom right here. Now, what I thought was cool about this, first of all, it's a boss fight. You see the health bar at the top there? Elite, some kind of, that's in English. I can't get my hopes up, bro, I can't. But uh, we, we see here, Hots activates his ability and it shows a sword. So it's pretty cool. That means it's like unique to Hots or maybe unique to his position because then Rachel has a lighthouse appear, which is awesome. I think that's pretty neat, you know? It sucks that she's playable. But uh, it's, a, it's a neat detail, at the very, very least. Um, and then we get this scene, which is pretty straightforward. Um, just showcasing that the story is here. We can basically play through season one. Is it just gonna be season one? I don't think so, because we saw in the trailer that Bomb looked like Viol, right? In that previous trailer, so... I don't think it's just gonna be season one. That would be too short. Maybe they're gonna add updates. I'm not really sure. But overall, April 20th, I hope there's an English release someday. I saw the comments were agreeing with me. 
But let me know what you think about this game. Of course, there's the other mobile game that's being created as well. But for now, this is the one that's getting the most focus. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Um, maybe I'll check it out, even if it's not released in English, just for fun. I guess that would be you know, a little bit hard to do, but we'll see. Subscribe to the channel for more updates, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!